Let me now take you to Business Week. This is Business Week today. Okay, this is on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. Attention, shoplifter. See, you're all guilty. You all deserve this. See how they see how they spend that. With 30 billion in theft, there's a revolution in surveillance systems. There are six million video cameras mounted in stores across the U.S., according to Market Research. J.P. Freeman Co. Their unblinking eyes are everywhere, watching exits, peering down aisles. You already knew that, but you probably had no idea how smart some of these cameras are getting. Well, let's get technical. The software the cameras are hooked into are smart. Some Macy's and Babies R Us stores have installed a system called the Video Investigator, whose advanced surveillance software can compare a shopper's movements between video images and recognize unusual activity. Remove ten items from a shelf at once, for instance, or open a case that's normally kept closed or locked, and the system alerts guards sitting in the back. Or pacing the sales floor with a shimmy or flashing screen. The system can predict where a shoplifter is likely to hide, at the ends of aisles or behind floor displays. A search function spots sudden movement that might indicate a large spill, prompting workers to clean it up before it leads to a slip and a fall and an accident. And you go on, and it just says how wonderful it is for five pages. It's just, oh, it's so positive. Uh, this is called smart shelving technology. And let me just give you the news. They always announce it five years after it happened. Every major chain, department store, you name it, have face scanning cameras integrated into their systems. They're tracking everything you do. They are recording everything you say. AI computers are going through all of it. It's the same system. And that's in industry publications. But here is Business Week for you doing that. And, of course, none of this is going to stop any shoplifting. This is just a complete and total scam. And it makes people even stupider. You know, we are getting dumber and dumber. It's like somebody 20 years ago, 30 years ago, before the Texas Instruments $150 uh, calculator came out. Now they're about a dollar. <laughs> but uh, people used to could do math. Now the smartest people I know can't do math. We just use calculators. You see, all of this also has that effect of now the security guards just sit there lazily in the back doing nothing as if a security guard couldn't be taught in a course how to watch the cameras, how to look for people going behind structures, how to look for people doing suspicious things, how to do their job. No, they don't do that. And again, it's a moral decline. You didn't used to have to have surveillance in stores because people didn't steal. We had a depression in this country, and the crime rate went up a little bit, but not much. But there have been major studies done by universities and the government. You know what's going to happen if there's a depression? These soccer moms and these Lexus-driving yuppies are going to turn into the most dangerous people you can imagine. The inner cities are going to melt down. Third world hordes are going to lay waste to entire cities. And the government is going to stand by and let them do it because they're going to bring this country down by hook or by crook. Look, I'm not trying to be negative here, folks. I'm here telling you the facts, laying out the information with the computer God gave me called my brain, my gray matter. And I've been watching these people, these, these globalists put in this grid. I've been warning you. I've been screaming about it. I've been breaking down what would happen. I've been telling you they're using your cable boxes to listen to you, using your computers to listen to you. Frankly, your computers and your cable boxes really aren't even yours. The government sets up these systems, develops these technologies, gives them to select corporations like Google and others, and they just implement it. And then they, no one told you, I mean, what would you do if a marketer came to your door and said, let me put a camera in your house to watch you, a microphone in your house to watch you, and I'm going to pay you $500 a month? You'd say no. If you caught your neighbor hiding a camera in your house, you would freak out. But they announce, it's the same story. Oh, we're, 
taking your thumbprints, but we're not really taking your prints at the store or at the Disney World or at the tanning salon. It's just numbers. No, no, no. They, you know, it's the same PR. The companies put out the PR. They have big RFID and biometric conventions. And I remember six, seven years ago reading the minutes of their conventions, and they said, we will explain to the people that we're not really taking their prints, that it's all just numbers, and that will put them to ease. And then I have to watch their PR people in every case say the same thing, and it's the same thing with this. Oh, we're not listening to your audio. We're just recording the, the, the audio and then transcribing it and then digitizing it and scrambling it and encrypting it and then don't worry, no one can get it and it's not audio. But it is audio. It's like in 1999, and this is in my film, Police Day 2000, we show this front page statesman article and it said, it said gunshot detectors going in in Austin. Kay Bailey Hutchinson, a grant. We talked about it earlier. So I typed into a search engine. What was it Dogpile, Ask Jeeves, whatever it was at the time. And I went right to the company and bragging about the Austin contract and the other contracts they got with the federal grant. And they called it their long-range acoustic devices. And they bragged and they had little audio clips. Click here. And it said, listen to two children. This was recorded at 200 yards away with the system. And it also serves as a gunshot detector to, to, to triangulate. So they don't call it a microphone. They call it a gunshot detector. Seven years into these being put in, in Austin and Chicago and New York, all over the country. Seven years into these being put in. You ever heard of them using a gunshot triangulator to bust somebody? No. It's a microphone. And they're using it to listen to you. And the microphones are listening for keywords. And though the emergency management centers in every major city put in by FEMA in 1999, bigger cities even earlier, the, 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 the moron staff at those facilities, they, they, they aren't allowed to dial into those functions. But those cameras and those microphones are hooked into the feds, and they are. And so it's NSA microphones listening for key words. I can't walk down the hike and bike trail with my wife and have a private discussion because there are microphones down there. I can't walk down the city streets of Austin because there are microphones down there. If I want to have a private discussion, I have to unplug the physically, turn off the computers, unplug them from the Internet. If I want to have a private discussion, which I just never do, I would need to go in my bathroom and turn on the water real loud and whisper in my wife's ear. Okay, that's how bad it is. You got a laptop in your bedroom? The government is recording you having sex with your wife. When you walk through the airports, they digitally scan right through your clothes and record 365-degree images of your naked body.